And listen, this is not all about blowing smoke up his butt and saying everything's great. If you had problems, that emotional things that he can like lead with his story on and talk about, that's great. I mean, that's what we're looking for. I'm real life dig experiences. Up reality stuff. Real, real, real well, life experiences. Real feelings. If you want, we can go with the whole broken heart and how you saved my life from becoming an alcoholic. That would be more cool. <laughs> like That'd that. be a good interview, Doctor. <laughs> okay. I like that. All right, like, we can do that. This. Hi, this is Dr. Daniel Ornell. We're on Talk Twelve Sixty KTRC, and I'm interviewing a live patient. One of mine. Her name's Janet. So, hi, Janet. Hello, Gary. So what you have done? I had a blift, which is a brow lift and upper and lower eyelids. Okay, so what was it like? Fantastic. Okay, this is a show about reality. It is. So, okay, did okay. it hurt? It did not hurt at all. I refused to take the bike in. I didn't even need Tylenol when I got home. Really? Oh, oh, one thing I you don't know. Okay. I took photographs of myself every day. And I sent them to the to I think the microsurgeon, the head microsurgeon at Mount Cedar Sinai in LA. Oh, good. And he was very impressed with your work. Well, that's, that's terrific. Thank you. Yeah. How did what really happened differ from what you expected? Um. It was easier. It was painless. We chatted about Fiji. Uh, <laughs> um. Okay, I mean, did you think that, how much time did you think you were going to need to be out of commission, for example, after? I wasn't out of commission. I was working the next day. Remember, I stopped by your office, mm -hmm. and I forgot why I stopped by your office, but, oh, oh yes, to give your wife the books. Okay, good. Children's books to right. say thank you. Right, okay, good. Um, I, I, I think that's not a typical recovery. You had a really extra super recovery. Really? Um, yeah. Okay. Um, and um, I... I I think most people take about a week off, but I think the fact that... Are you that, serious? Yeah, no, I know. I'm glad that you that it was easier for you. Um, it's a breeze. I mean, it's like, boom, 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 you know, and time flies, and then you okay. get to go home, and... <laughs> okay. Um, let's say you're talking to a family member or to mm -hmm. a friend, and, you know, you're not talking to me. Right. Okay. Well, Pretend I'm them. What would you say? Would okay. You say, oh, my, my sister Mary. Okay. Um, she looks just like me, except yeah. she has dark hair, mm -hmm. but she spent her entire life in a horse barn and outside. Okay. So she looks very weathered compared to me. Okay. And she said, how can I get rid of my brow, brow lines? Mm -hmm. And I sent her all the photos, and she's like, wow, I'm getting one now. <laughs> okay. How did it change you as a person? Well, I had one true love in my life, and... We broke up in the fall, and I cried every day for five months straight, and I started to become an alcoholic. And then I had a consultation with you and found out how much it would cost each month to pay for this. And I realized, well, I already spend that on booze. Okay. So why not spend it on something good for me instead? Okay. So that day that I saw you, I stopped drinking. Really? And I'm already seeing a new guy. <laughs> and I'm going on a camping trip, Great. and I've been going to parties and participating in life again. Okay. Um, so how's the drinking? Zero. Really? Mm hmm Well, that's fantastic. Yeah. That, that, and I, I could have just gone straight down the tubes. Well, something compelled you to, you know, make a change in your life, and mm -hmm. I'm glad that I was the person who could do that for you, but, you know, that's... It was you who was ready for a change, and so that's fantastic. No, I, I, I looked in the mirror and I thought, oh my God, I look like death warmed over. And then I saw you the next day, and I said, What's, what, what can you do? You know, the, you know, the biggest bang for the buck. And you said, this is what I can do. And I, I felt like I came back to me again. That's what you did for me. Oh, that's great. If, if there was something that you could have changed about your experience, mm -hmm. what would it be? Um, oh, well, all that great stuff beforehand with the Tai Chi girl. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, she would become um, somebody who visited my house every day for the rest of my life for free. <laughs> okay, so what are you talking about? Um, you not only do this procedure, you have a whole staff of people that serve your your patient 
and, and prepare them for this. Uh, the microdermabrasion, which was fantastic. And then this uh, woman who does, what, what was it, what kind of? It's called um, Thai massage. Thai massage. Which is a kind of yoga that gets you ready for the surgery. And that was like just two hours before you did the procedure. Mm -hmm. And it was so relaxing and it was so great. Okay. And then I also saw the reflexologist. Mm -hmm. And there was, I think, which is very professional of you, you have a psychiatrist or a psychologist interview mm -hmm. your patients beforehand yeah. so that, you know, it, it's, you're responsible. You're a responsible doctor. Uh, yeah, thank you. I, I think the, the, the psychologist that people talk to, it's not because I think people are crazy, or mm -hmm. it's because I really want them to have clear expectations, mm -hmm. but also, he is particularly interested, and we're going to interview him, he's particularly interested in uh, self-perception and people's idea of themselves and how that changes with plastic surgery. So um, I'm glad you talked to him. Yeah. Janet, thank you so much for thank talking you. with us. This is uh, Dr. Daniel Rennell on Talk 1260 KTRC. Mm -hmm. <laughs>